I thought I had to go find my stuff to decorate with. Hi, everybody. Hello, 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 everyone. How's everyone doing? Kathy, on my phone, I Am cannot I see the screen and the comments at the same time. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. Judy, did you draw a card? Um, I'm going to in just one second. Hold on. All right, I'm going to feature you first. Okay. And I'm going to go put the links in while you're up. Okay. Hi, everybody. How are y'all today? Um, I'm going to pull my card. Cards over here off of my desk. So, as you all know, I pulled from the sunflower, the soul flower deck. Today I'll pull from the soul flower. Last time I pulled from um, my herbal one, but this one will be soul flower because because we're working. Um, I'm working with the floral pattern today. So these are all my cards, and I'm just gonna randomly. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it again one more time. One more time. And then I'm just going to randomly pull one, and this will be our inspiration for today. And I'm going to pull this one. Ah, this one is lavender. It is for restoration. Um, which we, I think we really need with this weekend of, of hurricane hitting so hard this week, this weekend, this week of hurricanes that have come. Um, and then we've got several friends that are in the path and several of our crafty friends are attacked. So what this, what this, um, what lavender represents is restoration. Lavender is restorative and purifying energy and aroma calms and up lifts your mind and body even feelings of stress and agitation from your earthly distractions and rejuvenating your soul that you can truly feel and radiate inner peace and harmony so that's our that's our inspiration today um so i'll show you a little bit about what, what i'm doing and then we'll move over to kathy um since um Today I'm working on my dolls. I have a new doll, um, and this is, I'll hold her face up. She hasn't got her hair on yet, but this is, um, she's, she'll have little, a little brown top across the top here, just across her top, and I'm gonna sew that in. And then she'll be wearing this little rose um, skirt, rose with roses. And I made her pantaloons, little pantaloons. They're so cute. Um, this doll is a little different. I actually um, made her bendable. So I wired her arm. She's not, her arm's not sewn yet. But her arms are wired so that she moves her arms and her legs. Her legs, her legs are bendable too. And so she, um, so that's that's my new one. And um, at first she was going to have a cute little gingham strawberry dress. And then she told me her name and her name is Rosebud. And she is going to have a rose skirt. There will be some lace on the bottom. A lace, lace up here, maybe a pinafore style. That's what I'll be working on today. 
<laughs> then I made another um, another fantasy kind of I don't know what to call these uh, art dolls, strange dolls is what I call them. They have the polymer clay faces. Here's her face. She she was made to be when I made her. It was a very stormy day. And my husband came in and said, "Oh, are you making stormy?" I said, "Yeah, I'm making kind of a dark fairy." And so she is stormy. She's dark. She has tattered wings. Her wings, her fairy wings, are tattery. So um, they're they're bendable. Um, so she'll be felted with some blues and greens and. Um, and I haven't decided what to do with the top of her head yet. Um, I don't know if she'll have anything coming out of it or if I'll just felt it with some color or if I'll put a hood on her with like a little cape. I don't, I haven't decided. So but anyway, so that's my tattered fairy I'm calling her. So Kathy, you can go back to you now. Well, we're going to go over to Christy and let everybody see what she's doing. Oh my okay. God. That's cool. Oh. God, that's beautiful. Christy's working on some beautiful man mantillas. Oh, wow. I love those colors. This is, um, a lot of these colors They're are new. Um, I've never worked with a whole lot of coral. It's not that I don't like it. It's, just, it's new for me, so I'm having a ball with it. <laughs> oh, that is gorgeous. What brand paint do you use? Thank you. This is um, this is Prima Sparks. So mostly Prima, and um, if I have extra money, haha, -ha, or a really big coupon, I'll use the um, Golden Fluids. This one here. Wow. But the Aren't Prima they, paints. Oh. Go ahead. These are about. One is, they're between like six and eight dollars, but I get them from Simon Says Stamp, and I usually have a coupon. And if you're painting with these on a canvas, they'll go pretty quick. But when you're not painting, one tub can last me about six months. Wow. Yeah, just a little bit of paint. So now the one I do run out of is the Blackberry. This one. It is so pretty, and I use it as backgrounds because it's kind of brown, but it has, a, I don't know, like a red or a purple or something in it, but I love it. Oh. So, yeah, no big secrets, just a lot of coupons. <laughs> Mary and I are doing the same thing. We're making master boards. Uh, oh, wait a minute, Mary. Mary doing... has got problems with her computer. Uh oh. All right, let's go to Jane Peter then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Would you prefer... no, wait. Well, it's changing prices. It's, it's. I don't know why, Mary. but my chat is all the whole screen. There, go back. You look like oh. you're frozen on my okay. end. Well, uh, that's going to say my, I'm going to refresh. Go ahead. All right. Peter, what are you working on? Hello. Oh, she's muted. Jean Peter, you're muted. Yeah. Gary walked past. I didn't want him to say ugly things. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> How do you anyway, um, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm working on a book for the design team. Um, it's a kit you sent. It's I'm behind. Yes, I'm behind, but I haven't hired me an aide yet, so I'm Aww. going to probably stay behind. Um, you sent some great chipboard to make the covers, but as I was going through things, I found this little book, and I thought, it's just a board book. And I thought this is what it had to be. You know, sometimes things just tell you what they're going to be. So it's going to be a little, little suitcase, but it's all going to be about coffee. So I, I, all I've done is cut it apart, ink the edges, and 
painted the Ooh. handles. So I think it'll be pretty cool, though. Yeah, I like the yeah. I like the part the I like the suitcase effect. Yeah, I do too. I don't know why. Maybe I'll even put some straps on it too to close it. I don't know. Oh, cool. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. All I know is this is going to be a copy book. <laughs> So it's just kind of nice to have something, something that isn't on the computer. I got a new computer and I've been working on it all morning and it's about to drive me crazy. So, but it'll get done. It always does. It just, you just got to keep after it. That's all. So is anybody crafting along with us? Yes, Arlene, it's very important. I can't live without it. Actually, I will. What are you doing? Jane Painter just muted herself again. Thank you. Okay. Somebody's got to watch out for me. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. Hold on, Mary. I can't see anything going on on your screen. Okay. See. I'm back in. Yeah, but your screen's not showing anything. Put your hand down. <laughs> Put your hand on that pink piece of paper. See, your screen's locked. There's, that's, it's not doing anything but showing that one piece of paper. I see your there's, hands. There's, yeah, there well, you that's because I haven't been doing anything. Well, you see, I'm <laughs> yeah, now we can. I couldn't tell if you were locked up or not. Okay. Well, I was. I have been in. I have got my history open. I was using my uh, controller trying to get to chat and say hello to all the chat, which I have no chat now. But no, nothing's coming in. Um, anyway, so everybody, hello in the chat, and I'm sorry it's not. But my screen went little bitty tiny, then it went great big, and then it went little bitty tiny. I had to go out and refresh, and then finally... I had to do a default on it to get back in, and then it wouldn't let me type. Huh. So it was a mess. I don't know why it happened. Uh, I don't know if I what key I hit, but I'm moving my keyboard over uh, because I have to have the room to, to art. So now you want to show? You want me to show them what I'm doing? Yeah, hold on a minute. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I'm having a pleasure to let you here. Let me find you. Okay. All right. It's on you. Hello, hello, everybody. There too. No, you don't need anything down here. That's where you go. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm continuing to lodge you today. And I have made the, the one that Kathy and I made together on my stream. <laughs> I did it. Chris, if you're listening, it says your devices are not connected. Now I got Christy what? twice. Wait what? a minute. Christy, which one is you? <laughs> okay, now I got one of you. She had come in the back room again, but it said her devices were not. Well, now she's gone again. Christy is stuck in the revolving okay. guys. <laughs> Well, I said, that's what I said. Mine just went crazy. It was just all over everywhere. And I, I have no idea why. But Anyway, I have been doing these books. And I am absolutely loving this collage. It is so relaxing. Uh, you can take all your scrap papers, just start using them up, and make your books. And, you know, or whatever you want to do with them. Uh, they make pretty ephemera. 
This one I put a, a, a top layer on with the Mod Podge and made it a little more glossy. And uh, I just love the way they turn out. I do. So I'm making book covers right at the moment because I wanted you all to see the process of my cutting. Well, then we were in here early and I started cutting. <laughs> so uh, first thing I did on this one, I had two real pretty sheets that I wanted to use. And I decided I would deliberately make in my collage my book. So this is the back side, which I collaged. Uh, I did this first. And then I turned it over and did this side with and deliberately put my face where I wanted them. I just had one each of these and I thought that'd make a pretty cover. So I just laid down some material over the spine because my spine had some little pieces that I was afraid would not hold. So this is my spine, and that's my book. And uh, from here, I think I will put this on it on the front. Uh, I think that's really pretty with the the grass in the back. So that is the spine, and I'm not going to do any more with this one today. I'm going to show you how I cut up the rest of the paper. This is what's left of it now, and I've just cut it down in two pieces that I can manage on uh, my cover. So you can cut this in tag size. You can cut it in whatever size comes out. I just cut it until I can't cut anymore. And right now, I have long ways. I have um six and a half and i'm going to cut this down a little bit because i'm not even on one edge i'm going to cut it down to a six to get to an even edge and then i'm going to turn it this way and i'm going to cut this uneven edge down Laura V, I'm not getting any chat at all. Oh, well, I, wait a minute. Let me see if I can click on that. Oh, there she is. Hi, everyone. I can see you now. <laughs> okay, and so I'm going to do this at six by four for a journal, uh, just a kind of a journal card. So I'm going to cut it here. Sometimes they don't cut all the way through. And on this one, I have some homemade papers that I really didn't want to cut. So you just turn them over, line that cut up, and give it another piece. Well, we just lost one. And well, that's all right. And you, you can see it's not even. So I'm going to get on here and do that again. Uh, all right. So you all know how to cut, so I'm just gonna shut up because I'm not being <laughs> I'm not up there anymore. <laughs> it keeps bouncing off of the person that it's displayed. I, I, yeah. don't know, I don't know if it's when somebody comes in and out or what's going on, but it keeps every time off. somebody comes in, it goes to everybody. Okay, Christy, connect your devices, honey. What? Chris, that's a Christy, not Crispy. <laughs> oh, I know. Call me Judy when we're here because Crispy yeah. and Crispy is too close. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My my cell coverage is not great. I'm in the sticks. Oh, that's fine. I'm just happy to finally get you on. There's so many. Yeah. I was excited, and then Ken said, oh, we don't have any internet. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> had so many interruptions. I'm just thankful to finally get back online with all of you. Yeah, I'm glad we're back. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Me three. we got to keep everybody healthy now. <laughs> well, well, I'm not there yet, but I'm working on it. Everybody being happy, this might make them happy. 
Wait a minute, let me put it on for a second, guys. What? Guess Ooh. what today is? Uh-oh, a nice giveaway. Another one. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is today's giveaway. And I haven't sealed it yet, but I was thinking about selling it and just making the winner show it when they got it. Uh -uh. <laughs> we want to... We want to see it. It's my turn. <laughs> no, it's my turn. <laughs> no. It's not even showing me yet. Boy, I got a terrible lag. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe I need to re refresh. <laughs> yep, I needed to refresh. So this is going to be today's giveaway. It's all I can get in this bag and still close it. Peek. There you go. There's your peek. <laughs> and it's mostly just stuff that I usually have in my cells. I just cram in the bags. Of course, there's all the junk, too. So what's everybody in chat working on? Anybody doing anything? Y'all can talk. You don't have to just sit there. You can talk. We're not selling today. Has anybody heard <laughs> any? Anybody heard anything from uh, people in the hurricane areas? We're looking for Laura Free, witchy woman. She just making us all worry. Mary, I'm so glad you reminded me about doing these things. So now I get rid of all this ugly paper I don't like. You know, that's what I like about it is I've got, well, and I've got so many of these that I took out of journals or I, it wasn't, you know, there was a piece that was left out of it that I had to cut off. And to use them up is making me happy. <laughs> I mean, it's making me yeah. happy because I'm having to bring all my stuff downstairs. I'm only bringing a limited amount at a time. So, <laughs> I can't tell. Well, somebody tell her to foot when she comes back. We have lost her again. Who is it we've lost again? Uh, Christy? Chris. Yes, she may be down in this is she in the further into the storm area? No, she's in North Carolina. She's where? North Carolina? Yeah. Okay, there's I think they're kind of my first copy for material. And so there's my book made out of the collage. Already? You Ready it? To, Hold well, on, I'll make an insert. I'll have to make an answer. I'm going to do these Midori style. I have decided I'm going to do all of these Midori style. Yeah, I don't blame you. I like them. it. And, uh, but anyway, and out of that one strip, I got a journal card in large size with handmade paper on it and bits and pieces that can be written on. And I will decorate these a belly band or a flip. Uh, another journal card with uh, places to write on the back. And that was just kind of a wooden no piece. And then uh, music on the front and some pretty paper, which can be decorated. And then yeah. this one. And writing on the back. So. I got, uh, so out of this, oh, I don't know, it was, uh, about 14 inches and in a square out of this i'm going to get at least five cards my book cover 
and then out of this I will get more because there's a little bit more left on this. So, and you can just straighten it up and just go to cut the inside if you want. And like I said, you can make tags or whatever. It's it's super easy to do. Hey, Gary. Hi, Raj. You know what I just realized? Wait a minute, let me go back to YouTube. Christy's in chat now. <laughs> That's fine, Christy. We'll try again another Thursday with you. I sure don't. Um, I got one. She was in here for a minute, I thought. Who was that? Uh, Allie's going nuts over your dolls. Oh, is she? <laughs> Allie likes the dolls, huh? I told you during the auction, one of my dolls will probably end up being named Allie. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> I am. I have to name her after Allie. Allie Cat. See, I have my best piece of art that I got. I mean, I love my violin, don't get me wrong. But this, this is my coolest piece of art that I got. And it sits right here by my by my desk. And it makes me uh, makes me happy. Oh. So that's my special my special artist, Alan Cat. Oh, she gives me inspiration. That's so cute. Okay, um, takes me takes me a little bit of time to get some something going with the dolls. <laughs> Clothes. I gotta put her aside, I think, and think about it. Aww. Aww, thanks, Allie. <laughs> Oops. No, like that. I really want to try those, but right now I just can't sit to sew that long. Yeah. She's white. I could do white. I'm talking to myself here. Oh, I like that. Jean Peter has muted us again. <laughs> she, yeah, she's getting us muted, muted, muted. All right, let's she's check getting some awesome. <laughs> oh, Maybe I want to put her lace on her skirt. Jean Peter, you um, think we talk too much? <laughs> Arlene says, Arlene says she likes the doll on the left. Do you mean my tattered uh, fairy? Yes. I love yeah. It. She, she is uh, a work in progress. <laughs> She's my prototype. <laughs> I know, Christy, it does, it, it draws more when you're on a live. I don't know why it just does. It does. It eats up the eats it up. Okay, I want 
did that fit out under? No, I want to tuck it over. Yeah, there she goes. I want that one. <laughs> well, they're in the right place for no complaining of this year. I need to hook up with Dennis and get him to take a recording and put it in Judy, Judy's craft room and have <laughs> those little pieces of them dogs talking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they do. They like to talk to each other. This was this was some um, this was my, my <laughs> specimen. She's called a specimen because she's like a root. She's um her name last time we met her, her name was Calendula because that's what I wanted her name to be. But then the calendula flower that I tried to make for her head didn't work. And so Sassy was sassing me the whole time. And I went and bought this flower and tried to call her calendula. And this is a Dahlia. So her name is Dahlia. And she's very mysterious and secretive about everything. Um, as opposed to this one, she's kind of, her personality of this one is kind of, kind of stormy, a little bit, a little bit pouty. A little bit dark. She's pretty. Oh, hey. So anyway, so that you got two of those now. Yeah, that's just not even fair. <laughs> I've got three girls. Three girls. This is this is uh, Sassy and uh, this is Sassy's cousin. Sassy, remember she insisted on a cousin. So this is Sassy's cousin. Sassy and um, Poppy's cousin. I gotta put her aside because she's. I'm not doing very good with her. Uh. Hey, Mary, do you see what Christy's saying about your channel? No. She didn't realize you were those ugly. It makes all the good things. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I'm trying to quit that and going back to this now. So, but I, I will do some more cooking. I In hope fact, so. I can. The best uh, sauce the other night, it was zucchini, the yellow zucchini, onions, peppers, red and green peppers, um, stewed tomatoes, and then uh, all kinds of Italian spices in it, and they turned out beautifully, and I do want to show them off if you, if you don't mind. Because I'm proud of them. Because <laughs> yeah. I hadn't canned in here. So I was really tickled with them. <clears throat> Arlene says she's going to be saving for one of Judy's dolls. <laughs> I'm not saving. I got a credit card. <laughs> oh, I really love Christy, but I just I work and stand up for work. So these are my colors of um, wool roving for her um, clothes. Oh, wow. I think I'm going to kind of go with blues. I want her to be kind of dark and stormy, like I said. I don't really like the purpley. Orange would be a good color. Orange? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I Orange think is Good for everything. She's no, she's saying no, no orange. <laughs> How about yellow? <laughs> no, she's not happy and funny. Sorry, she's moody. She said blues and blacks. Okay. Orange can be gloomy. Yeah, okay. Look, orange cannot be gloomy. Look at that. <laughs> 
And besides <laughs> that, besides that, that's University of Florida Gators color. No. <laughs> I was wondering yeah. if you could go to that. And it's the it's the Denver Broncos too, so Yeah, no. That's okay. Now I might be able to do I might be able to do kind of a muted gold. Yeah, blue and gold are my high school colors. Black and orange with mine. Red and black was mine. We were the tiger. Ooh, there we go. I got it. Mighty, mighty tiger. Okay. Okay. Well, first, let's see what she looks like with a little bit of a little bit of rope on I love felting. It's so fun. Um, I learned how to felt, and I love it. I tried it once. I just couldn't get into it. I did the felting. Um, I did the felting with where I I knitted the with wool, and then I I literally felted the wool and made purses. And it was really cool. Tote bags and purses. And I really enjoyed doing that. Um, but the knitting took so long that I decided that I wanted to um, I wanted to try um, I wanted to try this. I'm not gonna make things. This is just for just for decoration. I think I want this one. No, I don't want that one. I love to oh. felt. I actually have a felting machine. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, I've seen the felting machines. I just like it for a little bit of uh, texture. It reminds me of acupuncture without, <laughs> uh, you know, without any kind of um, training. See what we like. Girl, let's put some stuff on you so you don't be naked. Blacky color, blacky brown. Oh, he says if you try a needle felting, it would be acupuncture. What is it? She said if you try a needle felting, it would be acupuncture. Yeah. <laughs> I just turned my fan back on, so let me know if my sound goes all gobbly. Because it is hot in here. Hot in my house too. I've got to get up, and turn mine off. It auto to cool. Besides that, they put me on prednisone twice a day. Again. Oh man, that'll make you hot. Oh yeah.
<laughs> she says, oh my God, I went to check on Allie and now Judy is doing surgery. <laughs> <laughs> You never know what I'm going to be doing, Christy. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> yeah. You know, I believe in holistic. I, have, I can't even say it. Um, holistic healing. So acupuncture is it. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little fairy. <laughs> what? Poor little fairy. Aw, she's fine. Getting her wings clipped. No, she's not. She's getting them embellished. <laughs> she's tat getting tattooed. This is what it looks like to me. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That's sort of true. <laughs> what I like about tattooing is if I don't like it, I can pull it all out. <laughs> I bet you could I bet you could tattoo on the belt if you had some ink on that then. <laughs> Christy said if I got your function, then there ain't no way I'm gonna try it. <laughs> you notice how far away my fingers are. <laughs> <laughs> well, I said so good my hands on that doll. <laughs> poke, poke, poke. <laughs> I haven't even started poking the doll yet. Wait till I go poking on the doll. <laughs> <laughs> and now we get out of the room. Okay, I got this uh, set of cards all completed. Great. <laughs> Probably, I'll probably work all the starch out of this because this is heavily starched. I don't want it to, I want it to be a little flexible, but I don't want it to be too floppy. So I may have to do a, a wire structure with a stitch and we decided that. Are you kidding me last night we've been cooking? Let me tell you what Let me see the femur. Where's the femur? <laughs> This video is not for children. <laughs> yeah, show it to the kids and say, if you don't behave, this is what I'm going to do to you. <laughs> Aww. That's amazing. I'm going to put it on beauty for a second so they can see this close up. It's a mask, right. is what it is. That is really cool looking. Yeah. Because y'all weren't seeing her murder the week, but close and personal enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Is that wool or synthetic felton fabric? It's wool. How many of you guys are seeing? Hey, Carla. How many of you are seeing signs of fall is coming? <laughs> I am. I am, even though it's hot today. I've got leaves falling off my trees like crazy. Oh, yay for you. Well, we actually have a whole week of under 100 degrees. Wow. Woo. That just doesn't even seem fair, does it, Judy? Well, no. we have had, I guess we've been in the uh, low 90s and the 80s, and but we're going down to the 60s at night. Oh, my heavens. A little bit of texture in there. I would absolutely love that. You think so, Arlene? I think it's been long. Hey, Carla, how you doing? I guess it's because this is the first summer I really haven't been out and about. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you go have fun. So Arlene, I'm really poking right now.
Oh. Quiet over there. Huh? I said Jean Peters off a quiet over. I had to look to see if she had muted us again. Yeah. No, I just haven't crafted for a while, so I'm enjoying it. Oh, good. Yeah, me too. I walked by the craft room door and said, nah, I don't feel like it. Mine's open all the time, but I don't always get in there because the other rooms call my attention too. Yeah. I have been watching a lot of Netflix. Watching these British cooking shows and thinking I've never heard of it. And I wouldn't put that in my mouth. <laughs> They eat some strange things. Like fingers and mash. <laughs> they mash everything. Mash peas, mash corn. Mash, uh -huh. mash rutabaga. <laughs> it takes you a little while to figure out what they're talking about with some of the terms they use, though. <laughs> well, I got the first. I watch tortoise. Let me tell you, if you want to clean up your house, watch tortoise. Oh uh, no! Huh? After a couple of animals, you will be like, okay, I'm gonna go right away, and I'm gonna go that way, and I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> You'll be cleaning out corners. <laughs> I have, I have actually gotten sick of my stomach watching that. Then I went to Kitchen Nightmares and started watching Kitchen Nightmares. The other night I binge watched Tornado, and I, you know, I live in Tornado Alley. <laughs> you binge watch what? Tornadoes. Uh, and I'm in Tornado Alley. You know. <laughs> We used to sit out on the porch and watch tornadoes when I still lived in Kansas. Oh, Kansas was so bad for them. It, it's worse than Missouri. Missouri, at least, at least in Missouri, we have mountains that kind of deflect them, and you know, and they go in certain directions. In yeah. Kansas, they can just go anywhere they want. You know, there's nothing to deflect them. Yeah. yeah. I've chased a tornado or two, too. But I'll tell you how crazy it is here. Uh, I live seven miles from my hometown. Exactly seven miles. And we were, had been out working in the yard, my husband and I, and we decided we wanted ice cream. And he said, well, let's go. And... Uh, so we headed towards Republic, which is seven miles from where I live right now. And uh, we got out on the highway and we watched the tornado entering Republic. And it never come across us. There was never any warning sound. Uh, usually we can hear the warnings from the small towns around us, but we didn't hear any warning sounds or anything. And... Uh, it wasn't on the highway, and they hadn't closed the Dairy Queen. We stopped and got our ice cream, and then went to Mom and Dad's, and it was in the cellar. I was like, okay. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen when there's a tornado, that's for sure, or where um, it's going to head. Well, I was gonna, <laughs> we kind of can predict them around here well, I was gonna because the way my valley runs. And was watching a tornado go down the street, and I said it was cross the street. And I said, "Huh, that kind of looks like a tornado." And you know, didn't pay attention. And then the wind looked kind of big. I said, "Well, darn, it's getting windy." Next thing I know, I find out that the Walmart, not even a mile from my house, was totally destroyed by a tornado. And there I was watching it go down. The street. I mean, thank God for Walmart. Yeah. the warning anymore. Um, because so many people were 
people were unaware that they were coming, you know, until they started getting that hard rain or that wind on, or they spotted it. And then it was hard to get to cover, you know, sometimes. That I am really lucky they have never been out this direction. And every time I say that, I knock on wood because, you know, that that doesn't mean a darn thing about tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow might be my day. But we have been extremely lucky here. Carla, we've had some don't... wild dirt devils. I'm sorry. Hey, Hi, Susie, and yes. They just, they just are there, and then my my brother-in-law has been hit three times by a tornado, and each time he is built back in exactly the same place. I said, you know, after the second time, I believe I'd move my house back just a little bit. Yeah, I think I would. <laughs> It's kind of silly to go back on the same foundation when they've been hit by a tornado that many times. Like, Jesus, go, you know, that it didn't do anything to his cattle or his fields. I said, go back a little bit. Go into your field a little bit. It's got a path. <laughs> that it had never done anything to the foundation. So he said, nope, I'm going to use this foundation as long as this foundation's here. <laughs> I said, okay. All right. I'm really worried about Laura. I hope it's just that she doesn't have power. Oh, me too. And of course, no way to check, no way to find out. Uh, I had never asked for a cell phone number, and I wish I had a, you know, but I didn't. I, I'm like, yeah. it just, it just never had crossed my mind that. You know, and usually I do when I get close to somebody. Usually I do say, Can I help you suck on nothing? You know, but. Uh, whew. I haven't turned my air up and I have to. So I'm going to get up, but I have finished cutting up all my cards and decorating them. So uh, I've got more than I could do, but I'm. Nope, got one more. Never mind. I, I lied. <laughs> A lot of it, just a little bit, a little bit. I've got a few minutes. I'll show you what. Uh, let me get my hair up. Is Christy still here? Christy, are you still here listening? I was wondering how uh, how old Alley Cat was. I think she's eight, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure how old she was. Yep, I'm here. How old is she, hon? How old is Alley Cat? Nine in November. Ah, okay. Ah, Nicholas is a November baby, too. Oh my God, he's going to be four years old. When did that happen? Oh y'all! I gotta tell you, tell you something exciting happened happening today. My my grandson, my he's twenty one. He graduates from um, basic training today for the Navy. Oh wow! That was quick. Yeah, we got held back for a couple of weeks because um, he didn't do very well on his first run. But we know we haven't heard officially from him, but we know that. If we didn't hear from him by Tuesday, we knew that today was his graduation. So we should hear today 
So, and then he'll go to Pensacola for six weeks and then come home. Oh, no, and then he decided rather than reserves, he's gonna, he's gonna go active because his wife was in, was in basic at the same time and she had a medical issue and couldn't fit. Oh. So she does not get to go in after all. She was very disappointed. So she's back here with us. So, but he will graduate. And so I guess, I guess he's going to go active. Woohoo, a Navy, a Navy guy in my, in my, in our family. My brother retired from the Navy and he had a very good life. He still has a very good life on his retirement too. Yeah. Well, we're retired. We're retired army and uh, his dad, his dad is, um, 10 years in the military and then um, sheriff's department and all that. So we do service related. Our whole family has all has been very service related. And yeah, we, we have a very good um, pension from the military. That's a, that's a definitely a very nice thing to have. My husband did 24 years in the army. Wow. My son wanted to go, but they wouldn't take him because he would because his brother has the problems and and uh, so they wouldn't make him. They said you need you're needed at home. So yeah, I loved being in the military as a military wife. We. We traveled and we had a great time, and um, I made the best of it. Um, you know, and I had two two kids that traveled with us. We were vagabonds, and we we'd move into an area and we explored as if we lived there, and it, it became our home. And we we moved every two to three years. So I moved a lot. <laughs> I bet you were fast at it. I bet you got where you could real fast at. What now? I bet, I bet you got where you were fast at. I mean, yeah. You, could, you knew how to coordinate it and keep it moving. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Chris, are you old enough to have a child in the service? I thought you did the young thing. Yeah, little girl, Christy. What what is that? Must have been wow. You must have been never, really young. Never, never when you were ten. <laughs> like I said, that's pretty young. She was a miracle baby. Okay, honey, if you want to turn over to me, I'm cleaning my desk and I can show uh, what I got out of my one collage paper. Uh, Wait a minute. I'm trying. And that they're done. She's 24. Okay. You're six. Oh, well, Christy, you're you're my daughter's age. My daughter is forty three, I think. My grand, my youngest grandson, that's getting ready to get out of the um to uh, graduate from boot camp is twenty twenty one. I have a twenty six year old as my oldest grandchild, so that's my daughter. My daughter's she had she had her first baby at nineteen. So, and I was I was a grandma at forty six. No, 42. So, yeah. I was a grandma at 30. Oh, wow. Yeah, my, son, my son really <laughs> messed up. But I love him dearly. I love my grandson, my oldest grandson. Okay, so, girls, here's the book cover, which I showed you earlier. And uh, the front and the back. And then I covered the spine with some really pretty. Um, Kind of a silky looking material that Kathy sent me, and uh, or I bought it or sale, I don't remember which one. Uh, <laughs> that anyway, 
and so I put this big flower on the front because I'm just going to kind of go with nature on this one. And here's my cards that I've cut and decorated. This is my, I haven't been put, do anything on the belly band because I don't know if I want to do a tip or if I want to do uh, a cup or, or a belly band. But here's my first card that I made. And I just stamped it with a pair of stamp and put little, little flowers down on the bottom. Now, this was a bouquet, which I cut the, uh, it was in an urn type thing. I cut the urn off and then I just cut it in half so that it would fit the bottom of the page. And uh, here's the other half of it on this one. And I'm going to make this a side cut. And then here's another uh, journal card. I take a journal on the back. And again with the flowers and the trim. Uh, uh, this is a tag that I made with stuff in it. And uh, I just put some lilacs on the front on this pretty paper. It didn't need much else than that. And then writing the spot on the back. And this one, my butterfly had a uh, little spot in it that was bad. So I just decided I would put it over and cut it off. And it's just kind of like it's just coming on the page. So I put some trim, uh, some a large cauliflower up the front of this one because it had two long pieces. And then there's the back of it, which this actually should have been the writing side, but I like that one better, so I turned it around. That's very and pretty. This one, this one is some things that Kathy sent me. Absolutely love these little roses on her nippet, uh, her uh, nippet roll that she uh, sent. And they are so pretty cut off and put on a doily or something. So I made that one really simple. And uh, then it has writing there on the back. And this is my writing spot with homemade paper. And, oh, I, I missed that, that one. Whoa, excuse me. I wasn't done. They were hidden. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've got done. I've got three more to, to decorate. And I put my decorations up. So I'm going to call this one done. <laughs> For right now because I don't know what I want to put on these um, about our flowers I'm gonna to have to change I may use some texture paper to do something like that if I do I'll get it out and do it here but anyway oh. there's what I there's what I have and those will all go in this journal because they all belong in that paper family so uh, like I said this is gonna be Midori style so I'm not putting a lot of stuff in it uh, there's not going to, I'm going to make a pocket on the front and the back and uh, maybe uh, do something on a couple of the pages in it, but it's not going to have a lot in it so that they can pull them out and use them in other places. They're going to be just hung with a paper clip or something like that so they can move them around. So anyway, this is what you can do with those. Uh, these, I did these out of medical inserts and uh Here's one I got today. They come all different sizes. And it's, see, it's just a small one. But I can just cut it, uh, cut any size I want on this and make a couple of tags. And uh, it's all done. And I don't know if you all take as much medicine as I do. Uh, it, it, I have loads of these. Loads of these. <laughs> so... <laughs> But uh, anyway, I really enjoy doing these, and they glue down so fast just using your scrap papers, your scrap, any type of paper. It doesn't have to be decorative paper, it, you know, your two die scraps, your little uh, vellum scrap, scraps, whatever you want to put down. And so, anyway, thanks, girls. I didn't get to stay out up there again. But kicking us off again. I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, uh, thank no, you anyway. And I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you tried it. Because, uh, you know, I, I showed it to Kathy come on and done one with me and she's just fell in love with them, uh, doing them because they are, they're just a relaxing 
the way to do it. And I got this idea, and I'm going to say it now because I will forget it if I don't. Uh, um, Gail Agostinelli has been doing these. I don't know where she got them, but she said she did see someone else doing them. And, uh, you know, you can use any kind of paper bag for a bottom, anything. So, you know, don't think you don't have the stuff to do them because you can pick up any kind of scrap paper and just glue them together and make, you know, make it as long as you want and then just throw stuff in that. So, uh, but they are fun and they make fast journals. And, you know, they're just uh, nice little writing places. They're small enough. I try to keep them small enough that I can tuck them in a pocketbook. Um, so if you if you like this, be sure and give it a try. I think you'll really, really like it. Okay, I'm done. NRA click back. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I know. I, don't I know. know. It, it may be my computer because, like I said, it went nutty all of those. So, oh, thank you, Arlene. Uh, that is one of Spanky's flowers that she made and sold. And uh, yeah, she did a beautiful job on that. She really did. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Sharon. You gonna make another board, Mary? Uh, yeah, I've got to get my paper out, though. I, I didn't lay my paper out. I didn't think I'd get that done that fast. But, uh, you know, once you've got them made, it doesn't take any time at all to cut them and, and you know, get your design, your little scraps and stuff you have out and just go to using your scraps, uh, your, your decorating scraps. And, you know, I had like four or five of those flowers and I just cut them up made them stretch so yeah i'll do another one but i'm going to take a short break if you okay. don't mind no problem there he is with me there's a little problem called water pills <laughs> <laughs> and when they hit it says go <laughs> So, Christy, my doctor said something that kind of concerned me. If a person has a stroke, are they in constant pain afterwards forever? One of the doctors in my doctor's office is a real whack job, and I think she's just trying to scare me. I mean, like a real whack job. I'm going to mute a little bit. I'm going to have to do a breathing treatment. So okay. I will be back as soon as I get it done. I'm not leaving. I'm just going to mute down and do my, do my treatment. I'm still shoving stuff in the giveaway. <laughs> okay. So I have a question. So, oh to two or not to two? <laughs> no. Let me put you on, Judy. Okay. 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 So, I was kind of playing around with a tutu, kind of a tattery tutu. I'm not sure if I would continue playing with it or if I would make it smaller. Let me pin her back on her. 
pin her and get her out of the way. Let me put a pin in her. I'm gonna stick a pin in her. Like Ouch! Uh, sorry. Oh, ow. I'm so sorry, baby girl. There you go. Now your wings will stay in place. There. There. Now our wings will stay in place. I'm gonna hold her by her head. <laughs> So oh I was playing a little bit with her tutu, and I, I don't know, haven't decided, don't know if I like it. I like Just it. Kind of like, little, I like it. Little, a yeah. little tutu. I might make it a little a little shorter, shorter and fuller, hanging down a little bit more, right? A little bit more ragging on the bottom with points kind of. And then yeah, that would be neat. yeah. So yeah. So I like yeah, I like her too too. I just have to make it better. This was just a prototype. So yeah, and her poor little poor little wings. I'm gonna I may I may have to wire her wings. And I thought the way that I would wire her wings is I would take real fine wire and then just wire right in here. So she'd have a little firmness, but there she is. I think, I think that's good. I think she, I, I like, I think I like her little tutu. I like it, especially with the ribbons around her legs. That's beautiful. Yeah. So I might. She, oh, wait a minute. No, that's not beautiful. That's dark and ugly. That's what you want. Dark and ugly. Ooh, <laughs> not dark, not dark and ugly, dark and stormy. Okay. <laughs> So she needs I think she's ugly. You should mm -hmm. throw her away. Let me give you my address and I'll take care of her. <laughs> oh, she just. She's oh, just, that's cute. That not too. Oh, look, the wings kind of hold her up. Yeah, here she is. Yeah. You're going to have all those grown women playing with dolls again. <laughs> I know. I, I laugh at myself playing with dolls. I love it. So now I need to know what I'm going to do with her hair. I mean, with, with her head. I mean, not I like this color. Her. Huh? Put, I like her head. Put a blue feather or something on her head. Feather? Or how about... How about some kind of a... Arlene says she wants to live with me. <laughs> Oh, there, I could do something with the tool, the black tool and the blue tool to match her tutu. I don't know. So she'll definitely have some. Okay, well, thanks for everyone's help telling me about her tutu. I like it. She's, Carla, Carla, she's my, um, she's my uh, stormy, my stormy feather tattered um fairy because i originally she was originally going to be stormy and then um the first set of wings i made her did not work out and so um they weren't tattery at all they were too um pretty is the word i would use too pretty um to and so i didn't want a pretty fairy i wanted a i wanted a fairy with attitude <laughs> a working fairy. Yes. A fairy with attitude. So, all right. I like her so far. At first, I wasn't liking her. I was like, oh. I think you don't like her anymore, and she wants to come to my house. I'll share <laughs> her. I'll send her to Arlene for a while. We can just I know. Eventually, y'all probably gonna get one. Who knows? Maybe I'll do a giveaway one day. <laughs> they take me a while, as you see. They take a while for me to come up with the concept. Only if you rig it so I win. <laughs> oh. So, in that grungy style, do you think you could make a nutcracker? Ooh. That could be my um, last nutcracker in my collection. You have a nutcracker collection? Oh yeah. I I have a couple nutcrackers that I got when I lived in Germany and I love them, but they just they're just nutcrackers. They're yeah, they you know, no big deal. I wonder if I can make a nutcracker. Hmm. 
I used to have a picture of a really grungy nutcracker that I found. If I can find it, I'll send it to you. It was it was just gorgeous. Yeah, that would be cool. I would I would think, ooh, doing an entire series of these dolls based on the Nutcracker. Ooh, or the oh, yeah. Cool. I could do I could do Clara. Well, I just bought I just bought um, an original doll from the artist who I learned how to make this these from. And I bought a, she did a whole series on Alice in Wonderland. And I, and she did an auction. Here, I'll pull it for you all to look. She's so phenomenal. Do not compare her little face on this doll to mine because I'm, she's an artist and I'm a novice. Um, so I learned how to make um, these dolls from uh, Danita Art. Um, her name is, um, um, uh, Salido is her last name. Anyway, so she had, a, she had done a series of dolls that were on an auction and, and I watched her process. She did the whole Alice. She did Alice and she did the queen and she did the, the rabbit and all that. So here is the five of spades. This is the five of spades. Look at her sweet face. My goal oh my is to get a face this small. Um, so getting oh. this doll in my hands oh, will yeah. help, me, help me improve my um, my uh, sculpting capabilities. But she did, and, and she's a very simple body. All she is is black. It's the same pattern that I used online. Except she's black and super simple. Um, she did wire her arms this time. So anyway, I'm going to practice and get better. And once I get to where I'm really happy with the faces, the way the faces come out, I'm going. I think I'm going to do a series on the Nutcracker. So and look, she has a little. She's the one who paints the white flowers red, or the yeah, the white flowers red. She's holding a little paintbrush. <laughs> with paint on it. Oh, that's too cute. And then this is a spool. This is a little spool. Oh. With red paint on it. And she's holding that. So, so anyway, super wow. simple. And then I'm going to, and then she's done the felting for the five of spades. It's just a piece of felt. And then she's felted the spades on there. So you can see her from the side. She's so cute and her little face. So I want to get the faces to this small. Um, and if you look at now, now Stormy Fairy's a little bit bigger. But if you look, there's there's quite a difference in the size. I just have to get to be a little bit smaller and a little bit more, um, uh, a little finer in detail. So, but oh, anyway, huh? I like your size because you get more expression in the face. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just real pleased to have my five spades um, because it, it helps to be able to buy from the artist. It helps me become a better artist. And um, this artist is so, so kind and genuine. She, you know, she has a really good policy as long as I, as long as I state that, you know, the, the work is inspired by, from Danita Art Designs, then I can sell, I can do whatever I want with them. Um, so mine no way, mine don't look, mine don't look anything like hers, very different. So anyway, so, so when I get, so after I finish her, I may go ahead and start that series. So you may, so send me the picture or something of a grungy um, nutcracker, and I'll see. I will do that. I think you should do Wizard of Oz. Christy just said, "Be the be the Wizard of Oz and give her give her a brain." And I think you should do the Wizard of Oz a series. Yes. Now, I I love the Wizard of Oz. This artist Danita has done the Wizard of Oz series, but her Wizard of Oz series was done with this style doll um and then she had the she had dorothy was this size 
and then the characters were smaller, about this size, like little um, stuffed animals that, that went along with her. But her Dorothy is very pretty. I love her Dorothy. But I I really like the I really like the the not so much the grunginess of it because um, I'm not a I'm I don't like all the grungy part of it, but I do like the the organic that organic look, you know, and get the, the felting and the texture and the, I just really like that look. So, and that's a new thing for me. Curious George, Carla, I know you love Curious George. So, um, Kathy, Arlene said that um, all of her pain is nerve damage. Yeah, I think that's the mind. Nerve pain, huh? So far, mine's manageable with the lexicam, but it's just a pain, literally. <laughs> So, so yeah, I I I know what nerve pain feels like. I have um, when I had both of my knees replaced, and it's been a little over six years now. I had um, I got nerve damage in my feet, and um, you know that's really it. It can be really bad at times. I don't take any meds for it though, but I I'd have a lot of pain in my feet sometimes. Ooh, a nutcracker with a dark side. Yeah, yeah. Carla, I am so afraid of soft monkeys. <laughs> I'm making you one, Jean, then. Yes, I am. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she won't make you a fairy, but she'll make you a <laughs> No, I not well, you know, and I, I hesitated making a fairy because fairies are like all the rage now. But then I decided, you know, my fairy's not going to be cute and pretty. My fairy's going to be dark and moody. She's a, fairy, she's a fairy bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, that's me. <laughs> <sighs> Oh God. I'm gonna step around the corner and grab some of my a couple of my dolls. I haven't made them, but they're really, really cool and they're worth looking at. Let me grab them. Oh, I wanna see them. Cool. Okay. Now my brain has ended. My brain stopped, and my fairy has to sit over here with um, Dahlia to, to rest. You guys sit and confer with each other and decide what you're going to do. Decide what you wanted her hair to look like. Yeah, yeah. But don't listen to Sassy. She'll give you bad advice. Oh. <laughs> Just so you don't look. Sassy. Oh, my God. Sassy's the one who, who told me to, um, um, you know what's cool about and pull my pull my other pretty doll down. Um, I call her pretty doll. Um, she's so sweet. I pulled her down and I started working on her and Sassy was like, Ooh, that's my cousin. Ooh, there she is. she's so pretty. She's my cousin. And so she goes, she goes, well, I want her to have brown hair. I said, Okay. And so she goes, But but I don't want her to have pinky tails. And so she's not gonna have pinky tails. She's gonna have just hair like this. It'll just be short, short and sweet, and um, and then um, and then she kept saying, "Well, what's her name? What's her name?" I said, "I don't know her name yet." Jim told me, so um, so then I was looking at her the other day, and she just, I thought, man, I wanted you to wear the strawberries. No, I wanted her to wear these strawberries. They went better with her complexion. She has like a strawberries and cream complexion. And it was just so pretty. 
And then she said her name was Rosebud. I said, all right. Sassy said, see, now you have to change. Ha ha. She was being sassy. <laughs> So, Sassy so still, doesn't look better, huh? Sassy just doesn't want her to look better than her. Oh, well, Sassy has a different look. That's the goal. Is I make try to make each one of my dolls look very different. Well, not super different, but different enough to where they're um, uh, different enough to where they they definitely have their own personality. And so this is my Carmen the Flapper. Wait a minute, let me two catch you. Uh oh. Oh my you, goodness. Hang on, I've gotta go, I gotta go turn on something. I'm right back there's a battery loss thing. She's made by a local friend here. And uh, she's kind of got that grungy look. I oh, love her. I love her face. And then she's got, uh, I can't seem to get her off of her stand. I don't know what I, if I tied her into it or what. But, um, there we go. It's coming off the other way. She has sparkly because she's a flapper. And she's like about 22 inches tall. It's got a little heart stitched on and orange straps there. And she, it's all hand done, the, the clothing, at, you know, really rustic, but I love it. Oh, wow. Look at her. Now I'm back. I had to turn my computer back on. It was low on battery. Okay, Brian. Oh, wow. She painted. No, I bought this. It's some somebody else made it. But I like the weird dolls. That's why I love your fairy because she's different. And the same lady made this one. And I these were a set. I don't know if I have their names. Nope, I don't. But they're Christmas elves. Got the funky face. She's got a little oh, okay. snowflake pendant, Christmas fabric, velvet oh, wow. skirt. The super again, she's really big too, and she's holding a little wooden Christmas tree. Oh, that's cool! And then her buddy is um, this one, she's got bows and all big stitches and nothing fancy. I mean, and they're made to where they can set, they're weighted, and the funky faces and then she's got this one's got a candy cane with a jingle bell at the end so and then this one I bought on vacation because I fell in love with it it just said rawr by me now <laughs> so I did oh love it and it's got funky legs <laughs> I want to make one of these so bad. I just, I just need to do it. That's all. I Is that painted or embroidery on the face? Is it what? Painted or embroidery? It's embroidery. And then a button around the eyes? Yeah, it's embroidery. There's, this is a button and this is like a colored washer. I see. And the nose is embroidery. Um, these are stitched on by machine, but there's a lot of hand stitches here and there. And, and like her butt is velvet. Uh -huh. So I don't know. She's just cute. And yeah. she, has the, she, has a, she has a friend. Oh, wow. She's a funky friend. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So when I say I like weird, I really do like weird. But I have some real dolls back there in that collection, too. And my husband puts blankets over their heads. Uh, you don't like the creepy doll baby, huh? No. Nope. <clears throat> 
Oh, I got something I want to show again, too. It's not anything to do with the doll, but it's something that I got from uh, uh, from the auction. I wanted to show Jean, Peter, and everyone what I did with it. It's on here. Oh, okay. Um, so in the auction, um, I guess the last auction, um, I bought, I, I want a couple pieces of, of, um, of this vintage quilt and they came to me and there were like three odd pieces so what i did is what i call it is they made it and made a franken quilt and so what i did is i took those pieces and i kind of squared them up on cut the edges and took off a couple of the a couple of the longer pieces that i didn't care for a couple of the pieces of fabric that were like didn't really go and then I cut them into strips, cut them into strips, two and a half inch strips, like here, from here to here, and then sewed them together. But this quilt was so done so weirdly that there in these seams, there was fabric that was nothing to do with any piece of this quilt. There was not another piece of fabric anywhere on this quilt in the seam so i had to cut out seam so originally her dress was going to be the quilt but then once i did the franken quilt and i got it all pieced together i'm actually going to make this into a quilt um and i'll i'm going to actually i'll hand stitch it um and like in the old-fashioned way where you, you bring up it's like yarn you bring it up and tie it in knots every every mm -hmm. so often and then um, it'll be it'll be a quilt that the dolls will sit on. It'll be their picnic quilt. Aww. So, that's so um, so yeah. I and I'm still looking. It's hard to find quilts or vintage quilts or vintage fabric that is small, dainty. Um, because that's what I, I want now. I want all vintage. I tried to do her completely in vintage, but I couldn't because I don't have, there's not enough small fabric. Um, so anyway, so this is, this is what I did. I call it my Franken quilt. <laughs> awesome. So Yeah, those were some weird fabrics. I know, but I loved them because they, you know, and the way that I did it, and I took it into my quilt shop where, um, you know, I, I do a lot of my work. And the, the master quilter there, she was like, she was like, some of these fabrics go back to the 40s, but also some of these fabrics are all the way into the 60s. And there's a couple that she thought was 70s, but she said at least back to the 40s. So, wow. Yeah. So I loved it. And so if anyone knows of anyone else who has any kind of scraps of, of very vintage um, pieces um, that are small little patterns or just small patterns of, of um, vintage, let me know. Because I am on the lookout for vintage uh, fabric. I have this fabric. I'll show you the difference. So I have some vintage fabric here that is so fun. And this comes from um, this comes from the, the 40s. So this is really cool vintage fabric. But as you see, it's really big prints, and you can't really use them for doll making. Really, they don't look really well. Um, uh, so this this one this one could this is shirt material. Um, this one I could probably use. But, and here's here's one that I could use. I love this one. Um, so I love this one. So, um, but it, it's just I don't have enough material to make really anything. Ooh, I love that one. Yeah, and then I love this strawberry one. This one is one of my favorites. This old timey quilty looking thing, uh, fabric looking thing that they. And then, of course, this comes with the little, the little uh, flowers. And then, you know, plaid. This is actually, um, and then this one also, strawberry. I live in the strawberry uh, capital of the winter, strawberry winter capital of the world. So 
uh, strawberries are really a big deal here. But so I need I need this, and this is that lovely cottony, soft. I mean, just soft. I love it. Um, and that's what I that's what I'm looking for. So if anyone has tiny prints and cotton fabric, let me know. I may have some more of those quilt blocks left. I'm not sure. Ah. Might have to work a deal out. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I knew I was holding on to those puppies for a reason. <laughs> so, okay. Back to someone else now. Mary, get to working over there. Hi. <laughs> oh, gee, I'm laying out another, I'm laying out another collage. <laughs> and when I saw these pieces, I had some Halloween pieces, and I had three Halloween uh, vintage ones. So I decided that I would make a Halloween journal, uh, kind of oh, just cool. like that. Just, uh, so I'm, I'm actually, because I'm making journal tops, uh, if I have papers big enough that I like to make the journal front, I just go ahead and lay them out. And then I can cut them off exactly where I want to, uh, you know, and have them cut out and ready to bend and so I just kind of lay out my journal fronts and then just collage all the way around them and see what happens so um, you don't have to do that it, it could be all collage but since I'm making journals out of these that's what I'm that's what I'm doing now you can see on this one that I didn't I didn't do that. I didn't lay out anything, and look how pretty it come out. I mean, I, I, I just love the way it looks. So, you know, you can, you don't have to do that. You, you don't have to. But this one I did, and I was so happy I did. But it's because I had two special papers. So, oh, just, and those had laid in my box forever. Me trying to find a place to put them because they really didn't fit anywhere you know they and what i was making at any time they just didn't seem like they fit so i think that i'm gonna lay that together like Okay. Are you serious, Judy? Oh, wow, Judy. Learn something new about Judy every time I talk to her. <laughs> Jean Peter, this curious George kit I bought to make a journal from the Defy auction. There's mm -hmm. enough. There's enough stuff in here to make about four journals. I know. It was one of CARES that I bought, and I just didn't get around to doing it. So I thought, I ought to give that to somebody else. Well, I'm glad I got it. It's coming out cute. It's going to be cute. Cool. I think I have another one, or partial. Be 
being able to put some of my stuff in the auctions has been wonderful. Yeah, I bet. I'm ready to just load up the truck and take it out to the thrift store. <laughs> I understand. I think my husband's that way. That is straight at all. Like the hurricane has hit my room. <laughs> my death was the thing. Hi, Miss Care. Hi, Care. How are you? Hi, Care. Hello, Care. Uh -oh. oh, okay. Now we're kind of quiet. My jaws will go to flapping here in a little bit because I can't hold them in very long. <laughs> I'm going to try to get it paper straight or they'd be doing it now. <laughs> I'm sitting here wishing I had bought the yellow paper from Amy because that would go good in between the pages on here. But I didn't get the yellow so now I have to come up with something else. Huh. Can we use him for a touch spot? Yep. quiet today yeah we are yeah we're winding down <laughs> oh it's almost four o'clock guys
I've known Liz Eggman's been done. I wouldn't have started this one. <laughs> I'd clean this up. It's only two o'clock here. Where y'all talk? I gotta do something. <laughs> y'all talk? Yeah, I gotta write. <laughs> what do you gotta do? Write down the name of drawing. Oh, that's oh, I hope everybody has been enjoying all the crafting and the, and the conversation that has been. They've been having good conversations in this in the chat. I've been watching that, which is fun to watch. I'm afraid yeah. to try to comment because I'll lose it. <laughs> Let's I'm really doing surgery. It's going on hair. Over. There we go. I tell you what, guys, we only have 12 people working now. The participants' list is not going to be accurate because they're not all here. So let's take okay. a number. Let's take a number. Oh, okay. I'm take a number this time. That's good. I did a little sewing this morning and I had to thread the needle three times. I said, that's enough. I've got to take my sewing machine and put it in the shop. Something's happened to the tension on it. Of course, the boys, well, the baby likes to walk up and play with the buttons on it. So I don't know what he has messed up. Do we get a pick a number two? Yes, ma'am. Someone pick one for me because my that dumb thing is going crazy again. <laughs> so, what number do you want? I can't I can't type. What number do you want? Nah, what you put it? Between between did you, did you put a bracket of range? I, I put between one and fifteen. Okay. Uh Eleven. 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 I can see that. Um, Thirteen. Pick again, Ray. Oh, that thirteen's for Mary, guys, not for me. And I'm sorry, I can't type in. It's making my screen go crazy. That has to be to do with something with all the service towers being down or something. Nobody's got it. Guess again. Seven. Seven's already been taken. Hmm. 
Mm. Well, so that one hit. Nine. Nine. So, nine. 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 All right, it's coming up from Mary, not me. <laughs> ah, Gene Peter got it. I was just getting awesome. I was just getting ready to say you people do not pay attention Dad, to it, Gene. when I do a um Dad, give, nine times out of ten, the number is my birthday, the fifteenth. <laughs> Well, you quit that. <laughs> one to now give that away. Us, you, you quit that now that you've told us. <laughs> now I have to switch it. <laughs> I can get this big old bag full of stuff in the mail. Which is cool. I'll probably just stick it in the box with all the stuff I already have coming to you. She probably just not put an auction anyway. <laughs> I'm probably going to give it to Hardest or put it in kits. You're, you're looking at the amount of crafting I've done lately, so that's what I craft. I craft yeah, I for... Yeah, I won not too long ago, and I just donated it to CARE. All right, guys. It's four o'clock, so well, thank you all for coming. I guess I have to go and get my stuff. I'm not donating anything right now because <laughs> I can't climb the steps. <laughs> I am done with the steps. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see y'all next Thursday the night before. We'll be back every Thursday at two. I'm going to try to do some pop up lives. Between now and then to sell some more of the D stash. I still have mega bundles to go. I'm trying to get Judy over here to help. I got a message from Bima and she says she's reached out twice waiting to hear. If she doesn't get a message soon, she's getting a damn boat and going to get her. Oh, okay. <laughs> she's good. gonna feel so loved when she finally gets all the messages. Yeah. Everybody's looking um, for. I hope so too, Christy. And I got a boat, so. Uh, <laughs> get the caravan headed to Florida and we'll head to Louisiana. <laughs> I don't know. That water's probably pretty choppy right now. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be in the water. And you can't get on the interstate. Everything's closed down. So oh, it's pretty it? bad. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, uh. I'm hoping it's just that she doesn't have power she can charge her phone. That's probably that's probably what it is. All right, guys. We'll Where see you next week. For Thanks for she coming. May not have bye bye. 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 See bye. You